Hey there, wild women. I've been reading a ton of books lately from nutrition books to feminist literature to spiritual books. And today I am here to share with you seven of my favorite wild woman books. So it's been about a year since I made my last video. And so I wanted to kind of remind you of who I am and the things that I do. Here's a little breakdown. My name is Dawn Perez and I am a nutrition coach, life coach, wild woman, advocate, feminist. I'm a freelance writer and blogger and I run my blog over at wildsimplejoy.com. One of my passions has been learning all that I can about wild woman and the wild woman archetype. I wanted to share seven of the books that I've been reading with you today and I hope that you can get something out of them and read them as well. Women Who Run With The Wolves by Dr. Clarissa Pincola Estes. Obviously, this has to be the first book on my list. Um, this is kind of my Bible. It, uh, I, I feel like a lot of women feel the same way about this book. This was published in the early 90s. Basically, the stories in this book help connect us to who we were as women before the patriarchy, before Christianity. If you haven't read this one before, it's amazing. Um, Dr. E breaks down a particular folk tale from various parts of the world um, and then she uses her Jungian training to kind of tell us a little bit about the psychology behind it and how it applies to our current modern day lives. Now this one's a little bit thick so I highly recommend buying it or um, borrowing it from a friend rather than the library because you might want to take more than two weeks to read it. Um, even a couple months. Uh, take your time and really digest the stories and the lessons that she's sharing with us. Number two, Call of the Wild by Kimberly Ann Johnson. Kimberly Ann Johnson is a sexological bio <laughs> sexological body worker. <laughs> I can't say that one. Sexological body worker, a postpartum care expert, and a trauma educator. Clearly I had to reference that one because I could not say that one. So in this book, she talks a lot about the stress response um, and how we respond to stressors in our lives and what we can do to kind of reset that stress cycle. Here's how that applies to the wild woman. Because wild woman likes to stretch her boundaries and learn about her own psychology, this one is really great because we have that good girl conditioning in us and a lot of that good girl conditioning creates the stress cycle within us. So in breaking both the stress cycle and good girl conditioning, we are embracing that wild woman side. So she encourages you to tap into what she calls blue feelings, which are things like joy, love, bliss, pleasure, the, all the good stuff, and learn how to kind of minimize our red experiences, things like anger, fear, and other feelings like that, that we can um, truly step into our authentic selves by helping to get rid of that stress response. Next on the list is If Women Rose Rooted by Sharon Blackie. Here's another book that is very much in the same vein as uh, Women Who Run With The Wolves, but it's told from a more Celtic perspective. So most of the stories in it are going to be Irish and Scottish, um, pre-Christianity pagan. So the overall tone of this book is much darker than Women Who Run With The Wolves um, due to the fact that it's written a lot later. It's um, a much more recent book and so there's a lot of themes of taking care of the earth and climate change and um, it's it's definitely something that if you are highly sensitive you want to take your time reading because it is very heavy. Before I get to the last four books, I want to encourage you to drop a comment below and tell me about some of the Wild Woman books that you've been reading or some of the other ones that you may have discovered that are on your list to read because I'm always looking for more things to read and devour. Um, and one of the places that I definitely recommend that you check out is Thrift Books if you haven't been there before. Um, thrift Books is a place that you can buy secondhand and used books. 
and it's incredibly inexpensive, um, especially books that have been out for a while. Some of these books that are on my list today, you might want to check out on thrift books. Number four, Women and Other Monsters, Building a New Mythology by Jess Simmerman. Part musing, part memoir, part mythology. This book kind of takes you into a more modern perspective of a lot of those old classic mythological stories that we've been told that kind of demonize women. So when you take it a, a look at a lot of the more traditional villains, you think of the stepmother and Snow White and Maleficent and things like that, you begin to see the wild woman threaded within those villains. The very first villain that she talks about is of course Medusa, who is a woman that has very much been demonized in mythology. However, with a new perspective, you can kind of see the truth that she holds in her anger and begin to view all of these women in a new light. Number five, The Warrior Goddess Way by Heather Ash Amara. So this book by Heather Ash Amara is kind of a blend of feminism and spiritual development and guide. She has a background in Buddhism, Toltec wisdom, and a more earth-based spirituality. So she kind of helps women to shed the belief that we are not enough. Of course, spirituality and feminism are inextricably linked for women. So if you are in need of some spiritual guidance as a wild woman, this is definitely one to check out. Number six, How to Live Well Despite Capitalist Patriarchy. This is by Trista Hendren. The title of this book kind of says it all. This book is one that's not on my list of wild woman books on my blog. So this is a really fantastic guide for women who maybe feel trapped by the current state of society. While Women Who Run With The Wolves is more about the folklore and stories, Warrior Goddess Way is more about the spiritual development and connection to feminism. This particular book is more of a practical guide to breaking free from the narrow and judgmental world that we live in that we call the patriarchy. Almost there. Opening. Hold on. <laughs> no. Number seven on my book list is I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. Clearly this one I have on my Kindle. Here is a very weighty book. This one is a memoir by Maya Angelou of her early childhood all the way through her teen years. This is a woman who has broken free. She clearly walks her own path. If you want to feel inspired by a true wild woman and read an extraordinary memoir about the trauma that she experienced as a child and how she was able to stay true to herself in authenticity and move past the things that happened to her as a child, um, this book is absolutely extraordinary. You can see that on my Wild Woman altar, I even have a picture of Maya Angelou on my computer for inspiration. <laughs> the overall message is one of absolute love and learning, learning through life. And Maya's innate wisdom is threaded throughout this book, a highly recommended read for all wild women. That's it for my list for today. Those are my seven wild woman books. And drop me a comment again and tell me which ones you're thinking about reading. There are tons of books out there for you to read. Take a look at my blog post on Wild Simple Joy about wild woman books. There are 13 more wild woman books that I talk about. And I highly recommend that you check out any of them. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching. Peace and love.